Okay, so let's try another one of these chair corner questions. Um, this one it asks, which one of these um, structures depicts a trans isomer and which ones uh, depict a cis isomer? Okay, so let's just go through each one and um, see which ones are trans and which ones are cis, okay? So they're all one, two, uh, dimethyl cyclohexane, some isomer of that. So let's go ahead and draw the bond line form of cyclohexane. In fact, I think this is the easiest way to go about doing this, is that you um, just depict this form on a bond line form, okay? Because it's easier to see. But anyway, so what I'll do is I'll label this top right atom always that top right carbon is one and then go around the ring one two three four five six like that and so let's just go ahead and do that with all of them and like I said um, I label this one as one and go to the right like a clock okay. so those are the two atoms we're going to be putting the methyl groups on and we'll just depict which ones are cis and which ones are trans now Okay, so whenever I have an axial on this one position, I'll put it facing towards me. Okay. So that means that the equatorial is the H there, and it is back. So here, this is axial, this methyl is axial, but it's pointed down, right? The H is actually pointed up there, so the methyl is down. So it, in this case, it's back. So if I were to take this and turn it, this methyl would be poking me in the eye, but the other methyl would be away from me. So, in fact, A, in this case, is trans. So let's do B now. So it's the same general molecule. We just got a, a different stereoisomer of it. So here, one, we, in this case, we've got the hydrogen as the axial. So the hydrogen would be pointing towards us. So in that case, the methyl is pointing away from us. And here, hydrogen is down axial. So whenever the point is up, that means the axial is up. Whenever the point is down, the axial is down. So the methyl group here, since the hydrogen is down, the methyl group has to be up. So like that. So that one is trans. So the first two are trans. Which is interesting because we have a 1, 2 axial, axial relationship in the trans and a 1, 2 equatorial, equatorial relationship in the trans. And you'll see that. So this one is axial, equatorial. And this one's equatorial and axial, and probably you've already predicted that they're going to both be cis, but let's just go ahead and show that. So there's our cyclohexane ring. Remember at one, if it's axial, it's pointed up on our cyclohexane ring. Fat wedge. Hydrogen is down in equatorial. Hydrogen is down in axial here. So the methyl is up. Oops. Like that. It's the hydrogen. <laughs> so since this is up, so this is up axial, this is up equatorial, it's going to be cis. So C is cis. 
Okay, and in fact, this one sits, but well, this one just flipped over like that. You want to think about it that way. Or this one ring flipped, and if you want to think about it that way, that's what's happening here between the two isomers. Like that and like that. <clears throat> and on both of them, well, this one is going to be much more favorable to go that way, because okay, we've got two equatorials here, and here we've got two axials. But this one, neither one of them is more favorable. So let's just go ahead um, and finish this off. Hydrogen is up, so that means the methyl is down. Methyl is down. Hydrogen is up. Like that. So here we've got one axial, one equatorial, one axial, one equatorial. So neither one of them is more stable than the other one. So, hopefully that solves all of your conformational uh, chair isomer question.